Hello and welcome to all you Geminis. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for Gemini for October 2014. It's eclipse time and your ruler Mercury goes retrograde. So a very important time for the Geminis. And um, I know that it is said that eclipses tend to um, be a bit uh, times where there are happening uh, uh, a lot of things and a lot of drama. You know, I don't think so. And especially not for the Geminis because it's, it's all how you look upon things. And if break, the, having the possibility to break up, at a to, to, to break things up, to break yourself free, from certain things or people or situations isn't always a bad thing. And that is emphasized in the month of, um, of October, the breaking free of old patterns. That's the team for all of us. Now for Geminis. Geminis, um, Gemini, don't forget that Gemini is a mutable sign. So it is a sign that has, um, in general, Unless you have a lot of other planets in fixed signs, like Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius or Leo. But Gemini in itself is a very um, easy, adjustable sign. So when the circumstances shift, the Gemini can shift along quite easily. That's the strength of, uh, of the Gemini. It's a very curious energy and it's always interested in everything. And it wants to know a bit of everything. So this eclipse is going to be uh, pretty, pretty positive for Gemini's because the eclipse is in a fire sign and in an air sign and that goes well with Gemini energy. So therefore it won't be that stressful to, in comparison to some other signs that it's a bit more um, stressful. So what, what does it mean, the, the, the eclipse? And the eclipse happens, the total eclipse of the moon, it happens on the 8th and uh, it's in Aries at 15 degrees and the solar eclipse happens in Scorpio on the 23rd. It's a partial eclipse, it's not that important I think because it's a partial one and not a total one. But that is not on those particular days that these teams open themselves up. It's, it's during the whole month. So that's why I talk about it for the whole month of, uh, of October, this energy. And it has to do with Moon Uranus and it has to do with Venus and the Moon. And for you, it's happening in two very pleasant, positive houses, which is the fifth versus the eleventh house. These are very positive houses. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, was it the, was it, what is the energy? It's the energy, as I said, breaking free of old patterns, but in a positive way. You know, not breaking free just because uh, I'm tired of it. No, it's in a positive way. And when Venus is, opposes the moon in an opposition, so these are like, you could say, gentle plants, but in an opposition, they're quite tough because they can um, give people stress and because it's um, what they want can be contradictory towards what one need. That's basically it. It can be in a very contradiction, I want this, but actually I need that. And that causes stress, of course. And Uranus is there to break ourselves out of that, out of that state of ambivalence, out of that state of stress and, and feeling discontent. And for you, Geminis, it has to do with, as I said, the axis, the fifth house, onto the eleventh house, which is the houses of um, aspirations, where you want to go in life. Your friends, your network, your um, the earnings that you do out of uh, your own business. It's also the eleventh house. So with the moon and Uranus there. The Gemma, it shows that the Gemini wants to break free, wants to break free from maybe all, from all patterns. So what, what could that be? It could be an old friendship that you still feel very good about and that you feel, you know, your heart is there, but you feel that you need, for some reason, that you need to adjust. Doesn't mean necessarily to break up friendships, but it could. 
but you need to make adjustments there because your needs are not met and if that is the case you can do there your adjustments it's it's a time to do things because of those needs that are knocking um, knocking in front of you and that are saying please uh, integrate me integrate my needs for others it won't have to do with friends it can simply have to do with um, aspirations so maybe you need to go versus new aspirations and that has to do also with how you express yourself, how you want to show who you really are. So there can be those needs that need to be re revised um, because uh, the Mercury is going retrograde in your fifth house. So it means that your thinking is also with um, how can I, I express myself better in my life? How can I uh, fulfill my heart's needs here in my life? So this is all, it's quite deep, but it's in very, um, you could say, it, it, it's, not, it, all of, it's quite deep, but it's in very light areas. So uh, you can discuss this with your friends or you discuss this with uh, like-minded people. Um, or you could create something that has this theme of uh, liberating oneself towards new aspirations, new visions of life, new goals in life. This is where you're heading at. This new, you freeing yourself up of the opinions of others as well. This is also Moon and Uranus in the 11th. It's your, you, you, you freeing yourself up of um, what your mind is telling you. And sometimes it, uh, it, it is in an opposition with other people. So a very, a very Gemini-like uh, life of month, I think. And if you want to know, to want to be, and Scorpio, yes, I almost forgot the Scorpio um, uh, solar eclipse uh, for you. Um, the, the, the solar eclipse is about um, the commitment that we tend to do. And for you, Scorpio, that is a house that um, deals with, um, how do I say, with your health, with your day-to-day -day work. So maybe when it comes to health, maybe when it comes to day-to-day -to -day work or work in general, you're going to make different commitments, new commitments that are starting there, which is also good. So, um, and if you want to know a bit more in depth about this eclipse, just click the link below. I've... Uh, posted uh, the other video that I made separately uh, about eclipses. Thank you again, Gemini. Have a nice month. Have a, have a good week. Uh, no, have a good month. Bye-bye.